Alrighty guys, what's going on? Jack Hutto here, and today we're here with something pretty special. Huge thank you to Ben Q for sending this out to me to have a look at, to have a play with, and now give you my thoughts on. I've had this monitor, this is the Ben Q SW2700 PT photography monitor. Don't say that too quick. They've sent it out to me a couple of weeks ago. I've been using it here at work, so I'm in my work office. I didn't take it home just because it was just easier to keep it here and I'm here a lot more than I am at home and I'm doing a lot more photo editing, video editing and stuff in my job now. So I just thought it would be better to have it here. Let's take a quick look at this and uh, check it out. Alrighty, so as you can see, this monitor is absolutely massive. Uh, it is 27 inches. I have a 13 inch yoga book here, so you can see the, the size difference. I use a 24 inch monitor usually here at work, so it's a little bit different going to this one and I do use uh, three 22 inch bank keys at home. So going to this was actually really cool. I hadn't ever used a 27 inch monitor before and I've really wanted to. The only recommendation that I would make in this case is have it as far away from you as possible. Having it really close, I found it was too big, um, but as soon as I was able to move that further away, uh, it was completely fine. All right, so while we just have a quick look at a few of the finer details, I'm just gonna read out a couple of the key features here just so you can get a little bit more of an understanding of this monitor. So it is 27 inches, as I've mentioned. It is a 1440p UHD resolution, so it's 2560 by 1440. It does have a 99% Adobe or Adobe RGB color grade with IPS technology. It does have a black and white photo mode, which I'll go into a little bit more in a second because I think that's really, really cool and I haven't seen that before. And it does have a shading hood as well. I don't have it on in this video, but it does have a shading hood and it does have the OSD controller which I'll have a play around with in a second. All right, I'm just gonna have a quick look at this black and white mode, because I think this is probably one of the key features for me, which is really, really cool. And this is the OSD controller as well, so you can set three presets here as well. So obviously, if you've got three different presets that you're usually editing to, then you can actually set those in there and just swap between them. But I'm gonna click over to the black and white mode, because for some cool reason, I actually have a black and white urban photography set on here, an achromatic set. So I'm gonna have a quick look at those, and this kind of sucked. This is like the only bad thing about this monitor, is it actually showed me that my edits aren't really that great, <laughs> which is shit. Because I actually spent a lot of time on these black and white photos, um, just to try and learn a little bit more about black and white photography. And I actually realized that some of these are a lot more overexposed than I thought they were. And it kind of shows, especially with the sky as well, and a lot of the white buildings, it shows they're a little bit more overexposed using this monitor than any of the other monitors that I've used. So it's really cool, because then you can like flick back rather, um, really quickly. So you can actually see that this changes a lot, especially from, yeah, see it's like really, really overexposed and a lot of the whites and the darks aren't as dark and as detailed as what I thought they were gonna be as well. So it's actually really cool that you can just so quickly swap between color presets. Alrighty, so just loading that back up. One of the other cool features that I mentioned in this is its portability. Um, it does have a handle on the back, which I'll have a look at in a second, which well, I'll probably overlay this actually. It'd be really, really cool. See, so it's got a handle, so it's easy to carry. It is quite light as well. Being 27 inches, I thought it was gonna be heavier than what it was, but I've moved it to a few desks over the last week or two and also into here to do this video. So it's really quite easy. It's got this nice sort of slate uh, looking, and it's actually got a little bit of a texture feel on the bottom as well. Just if you're into those looks, it's actually really pretty. It does move left and right quite easily as well. I usually prefer to have them, you know, exactly straight, but obviously if you're showing people things at work or whatever it is you need to do, you might have these aligned with your other ones. If you've got more at home, you can move them around. Uh, it goes forward and back, and it also does go up and down quite far as well. So you can pretty much have this all the way down and it nearly hits that as well. So obviously if you want to sit low on your desk, you can have it down or you can have it all the way up as well. So I just thought that was one of the really cool features of the monitor as well. So over the last couple of weeks I've been using it and I have really, really enjoyed it. I've used uh, my three 22 inch BenQs at home for the last five years now and I've never ever had an issue with them and they're absolutely gorgeous. So I would definitely not second guess getting one of these, uh, but obviously that's me personally. So yeah, definitely check it out on the website. All the links will be in the description. Just wanted to thank BenQ again for sending this out and um, you know, hopefully we can get some more stuff coming to the channel very soon. Thanks guys, peace.